I lived at the Fountain Blue Hotel. First of all, you could not get in unless you were a guest, and you had to show your room key. And then they would allow you in. You'd see jewelry, fabulous jewelry, fabulous women. I mean, people would just gasp. Every president since 1954 stayed at the Fountain Blue and uh, politicians, the, everybody fought to get to the Fountain Blue because it was the hotel. And we went by seasons. Every year was a new hotel and each one, if you didn't stay at the hotel of this year, you were out. The Fountain Blue never had that distinction. The Fountain Blue was always the number one spot to stay. That's the kings, the two kings together. I mean, you don't find a picture like this very often. I mean, Frank Sinatra was one of the nicest men to me that I have ever met. Elvis was as polite and as religious as possible. He was more my age, and we related more to joking around and talking and so on and so forth. This is Ben and Bernice Novak. He was the owner of the Fountain Blue. Bernice was the sweetheart of all the world. I mean, she was gorgeous, and she dressed magnificently, and she was charming and sweet and kind. She was royalty, but she never really reacted to the position that she held. She was not a snob. She was an, a lovely lady. Benji was an exact duplicate of Ben Novak. And they both were very hard and very, very difficult to be friendly with.